Where did he go to show you that we the children of Israel? Who said the truth in church? We got to talk about it. We got to talk about God. Huh? We got to talk about the Bible to God. That's he went church. to the Bible to show you, right? Yeah, so so the Bible is our cure. Read that. Right? Yeah, it's on 119, 120. I think huh? that's what it is. Bring it out. Bring it out. It's on 119, 120. So the Bible is what's going to heal us. Because he just brought the information, the knowledge to y'all that we the children of Israel. You didn't learn it in school. No. You ain't learn it at church. You ain't learn it nowhere. But out of the Bible, read what you got. Yeah, read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 120. My flesh trimmeth for the fear of thee, and I am afraid yeah. of thy judgment. So the judgments of God... You got to understand there are judgments of God to the children of Israel. That we got to understand. So we got judgments for certain things. So so the Bible says that we, right. should, we should think a certain way. Y'all yeah. love God? Yeah. yeah. I know I do. You love God too. I already right there. Get that. So if you love God, look, this book right here tests your spirit. That's yeah. right. This book right here tests your spirit. To test your understanding and test your mind to see if you're gonna tell the truth, see if you're honest with yourself, and see if you're honest with God. You understand what I'm saying? Sis? So, why did you say you love God, right? And you love God, and you love God, right? Read what you got the book of first John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Read out for this is the love of God. What did the scripture just say? I said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what the scripture just say? Uh, love God. Uh, you gotta listen. You gotta listen. Read, read, read again. For this is the love of God. So it's about to tell you what the love of God is, my sister. My sister. Before you go, I want you to understand me. Because you said you love God. Right? I said it. So the Bible just said, This is the love of God. What you think the love of God is? I mean, you gotta follow by everything. Everybody. You gotta love everybody. Okay. I mean, well, like he do. Like when we commit a sin, I mean, you get on your knees, you pray, you forgive, he forgive us. Like we should, like if somebody do something else, we should forgive him and uh -huh. move on. Go Put ahead. it in his hands because he said no weapon for him to get to I mean, like, okay. you know what I'm saying? You don't just go by and just try to hurt somebody because they hurt you. You got to pray about it and go on. Okay, so what you're basically saying is love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. Right? Yes. So, so to love God is to love your neighbor. Yes. But but there is a, a a definite answer that he gives in the Bible. Watch this. Read okay. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. So to love God is to keep His commandments. That's, That's right, right, man. Because you can't right. send Him flowers, right? To show to show your love to Him, right? You can't send Him a card, right? You can't send Him a text message, right? right. right. right? The That's only right. way He gonna know you love Him is read again. That we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And his commandments are not grievous. Right. And his commandments ain't going to be hard on uh, you. Right. It's something that's easy to do. Right. Right? Give me Isaiah 5 and 11. Because you love God, right? Yes, sir. Are uh, you sure? Yes, sir. So okay. watch, what, watch what the scriptures say. I want y'all, look, I'm bringing this out so y'all can learn this too. Read what you got. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 11. Cause how early how early in the day is it? Ain't early. Ain't early you? Ain't early. No. It's pretty early. It's pretty early. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter five and verse eleven. Oh. Woe and said them that rise up early in the morning. Hold oh, up. What's early to you? What's, what's early to you? Two. So. It said, woe to them that rise up early in the morning. So the morning is set from, because you talk about early is 2 o'clock. <laughs> it's still dark out. It's about early in the morning. I That's when you. the sun is out. Okay, read. That they may follow strong drink. Read again from the top. Yeah, go ahead. Woe unto them that rise up Preach early it. in the morning. Preach that it. they may follow strong drink. It said, woe. Oh. You know what woe means? Bring it out. Yeah, come on. Woe mean death. Death. Death, right. death to them that do what? That, that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink. Right. So it said, woe, it said, death to them that rise up 
and start drinking. Yep. That's right. Bring it out. Bring it out. That's what the scripture said. So what, what you got to do is understand you shouldn't do that no more. Right. right. You shouldn't wake up in the morning and start drinking. Drink. That's right. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with drinking, but it's something wrong with being drunk. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you woke That's up right. in the morning, which is already wrong, and start drinking. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You you done start drinking before it was time to. All right. So you, you, you can't do that. Give me Ephesians 5 and 18. That's right. Bring it out. You, yeah. can't, you can't do that as a man. You you in a whole community where people see you every day, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you are an example to other young men. Right. All right? Uh, so if you teaching them to do this, guess what they're going to do? They're they going to drink. They're going to drink. And what does drinking do? Drinking calls red Rick. ricks. Rick, Rick, uh, drinking calls uh, arguments in the household. That's right. It starts fighting. The police will come out and yeah, take you to right. jail Liver because damage. because you um because you're drunk. What did you say? Liver damage. Liver damage. Right. It, it causes a lot of problems. Read what you got. The book of Ephesians, chapter five and verse eighteen. And be not drunk with wine. You said what? And be not drunk with wine. Uh -huh. We're in its excess, but be filled with the Spirit. So you shouldn't be drunk with wine. Where there is excess, meaning too much of it. Right. Yeah. You shouldn't do that. Give me some rock. Chapter 31, I think it is. You shouldn't do that. You've been drinking too much. Too much too early. You wrong in two occasions. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. All right? Now, you love God, right? Yes, sir. So what, what the Bible just said about the love of God? You should keep his commandments. Yeah. Yeah. Then you should do what the Bible say do. Right. Right? Is that what I want? Go ahead. Sirach 31. Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 31 and verse 27. Bring it out. Wine is as good as life to a man. So it's it's good to drink. You get happy. You know, drink and make you merry. But watch this. If it be drunk and moderately. If it be drunk in the right manner. That's right. Read. What life is it then to a man? That is without wine. Uh -huh. For it was made to make men glad. So it was made to make you happy, made make you glad, make you feel good for certain events. What did Christ do? Christ's first miracle was turning water to wine at That's a wedding. Because right. marriage is honorable to God. That's right. right. So Christ made that wedding a very, very happy for everybody. That's because right. marriage is one of the keys. Okay, so he said, I want everybody to feel good the right way, and it was the best wine. Right. Read, read, read on. Wine measurably drunk and in season bringeth gladness of the heart uh -huh. and cheerfulness of the mind. Uh -huh. But wine drunken with excess make a bitterness of the mind. So too much, too much liquor would make you bitter. A lot of people, they start thinking about stuff. Oh, the world don't like me. Oh, this family member done made me upset. They get into fights. All type of stuff happen when you drink excessively. Okay? That's something that we shouldn't do. The Bible teaches on that. So you shouldn't be drunk at this hour so early. You shouldn't drink so much to get drunk. That's right. So you you involved in two ways. Drinking too early and drinking too much. Okay? So you got to be an example to the rest of the young men in the community. That's right. They can't see you walking on, walking around on the street like this right here. Can't even stay on the sidewalk. Right. They shouldn't yeah. see that because you got to be an example. Timothy 4 and 12, get that, get that first, and give me that first Peter too. The book of, the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4 and verse 12, oh. let no man despise thy youth, uh -huh. but be thou an example unto the believers. You got to be an example to those who are uh, even close to believing, right. because everybody believes in God, right? That's right. So you got to be an example, all right, read yeah, 
Let no man despise thy youth, uh -huh. but be thou an example of, the, of the believers in word and in conversation, uh -huh. in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. In what? In purity. In purity. So how you gonna be an example in purity if you filled with liquor and intoxicated? Let me right. get to uh, Proverbs chapter one and verse five. Bring it out. Proverbs chapter one and verse five. Mm. But right now, this is what you need to be at in the mind. This is what you need to be at in the mind. Because if you if you slip in there, you slip in a whole lot of ways. All right, read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter one and verse five. Uh -huh. yeah. A wise man will hear. A wise man will do what? Will hear and will increase learning. So you may have a little wisdom because you're standing here listening. So the Bible says, what about a wise man? Read it again. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. Hey, my brother in a white car right here. My brother in a white car about to pull off in a white Chevy. I saw you listening, man. You gonna be back? Okay, come back, man. I wanna discuss something with you. Read again. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. So a wise man, somebody with some wisdom will, will listen and will increase learning. So standing up here, you done learned a few things. If, 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 if you're able to think past that liquor, you will learn a few things. Because most times liquor ain't gonna let you uh, uh, really remember what's been told to you. Yeah, right. So hopefully some of this is soaking in past that liquor. Right. Read it again. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. Uh -huh. And a man of understanding shall attain into wise counsel. So if you got a little bit of understanding, you will attain to some of this wise counsel. Right. Because the Bible is counsel. So what you got to understand is we are in this condition of the root chapter 4. You, we are in this condition right here because our people didn't want to be listening to the wisdom of the Bible. Right. We're in this condition right here because our people fail to follow God's way. Okay? So if you continue that, you'll be continuing a curse that's on our people. Don't you want our people to, to elevate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want our people to elevate. Rise above. Because right now we're at the bottom. But you got to understand why we're in this condition. Verse 6. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh -huh. He was sold to the nation. So we were, we was brought to this condition as he was going over. We was brought to this condition. Why? Not for your destruction. What? It, it wasn't to, to destroy us as a people. But what? But because you moved God to wrath. But because we moved God to wrath. He put us in this conditions. He put us in this condition. He, he, he make things happen to make you want to drink. He make things happen that will make you want to drink. We put it like that. Okay? Because you move by your own lust. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.